Hi friends, welcome back to the Canada Info Up channel. My name is Wolo and if this is the first time you are subscribing to this channel or seeing this video, I will say thank you. But this is not the usual video I upload because I show my face on my videos. But this video is somewhat different because um, I have a project and I had to just squeeze out time to create this video for the people who have been demanding for it. And it is um, the Yukon Community Pilots project that was launched and this is more or less the latest um, pilot that a lot of people are talking about now i decided to you know go to the website to read up on the pilot so that i can share information about the pilot and share with you guys i hope that you get information that you need and um, if it's going to be relevant to you then you go ahead and start searching for jobs but as usual you need a canadian standard resume to be able to search for jobs in this pilot and one thing you should also know is that you need to get at least two or three jobs to be eligible for the work permit so i hope you understand the um intricacies about this particular pilot it is not as easy as people think to search for one job is hard work not to talk about searching for two jobs itself so i will show you on the details of the website uh, what the pilot is about and how you can search for jobs to know more about this pilot you have to find the relevant information on the government of canada website and um, i'll be leaving the link on the description box of this video as you can see it is stated there yukon community pilot and you can find more details on this page so the yukon community pilot is a new stream of the yukon nominee program and it was launched this year in 2020 and will run for three years if you have a valid nomination for permanent residence from yukon you may be eligible for a two-year location restricted open work permit under the ycp the work permit lets you work for up to three different employers in one of the participating communities and it is valid for two years and it doesn't need a labor market impact assessment so the participating communities are whitehorse watson lake dawson city haynes junction carmax carcross and for you to get the work permit eligibility you must have two or three eligible job offers two or three eligible job offers and you must have signed a letter of support from the government of yukon and you must have met the general requirements for a work permit so i am repeating it again for you to be eligible you must have two or three job offers from different employers so please take note of this because it is very important so you don't get too excited and um discover that you have to you know put in extra effort on your job search the jobs you are offered must meet all these requirements they must all be in the same participating com yukon community they must add up to at least 30 hours of work week um they must be non-seasonal in general this means you you have consistent and regularly scheduled paid employment throughout the year and the wage must meet or exceed the minimum wage criteria so your experience must also show that you can perform the duties of the jobs offered which means um, your work current work experience must be the same with the work that you are looking for in yukon so let's say you're an accountant i'm giving it as an example if you're an accountant and you're looking for a job in yukon you have to get um two accounting jobs in yukon you if you are a plumber and you're looking for a job in yukon you have to get two or three plumbing jobs in yukon in the same community documents you need before you apply before you apply for a work permit you need these documents to include in your application number one is a copy of the nomination letter from the government of yukon confirming that you have been nominated for permanent residence a signed letter of support from the government of yukon stating that the employers who are offering you these jobs need you to work in the community as soon as possible that the job offers are genuine the details of the job offers includes names of the employer occupation number of hours and job location 
now after that you will now apply online for your work permit so it's a two-way approach which means you're applying you're looking for a job at the same time you'll be applying for um you'll be applying for a government nomination certificate as stated here yes a government nomination letter from the government of Yukon stating that they have nominated you that's the second step and then thirdly you will now apply for the work permit so this is where you go to find more information you just click on it if you are applying from outside canada click on i am applying from outside canada and then click on continue and all that you need just when you have the time go through this page and check that all the information that you need is actually correct so that's it for the yukon community pilot now i'll move over to the next page which is the yukon um, immigration page itself once you come here you click on immigration yukon and when you click on immigration you can click on apply to hire a foreign worker through the yukon community program now this information is actually for the employers um, it provides information for the employers what they are supposed to do and um what is what will make the job offers eligible for a foreign worker and i also want you to read here it says can i give work to a foreign worker i'd like to employ it says you can apply to the program to nominate a foreign worker to do this you must first advertise the available employment position according to the program guidelines and prove that no canadians or permanent residents are available for the position employers cannot charge any fees please take note of this thing because i actually um, put up a post on the canada info instagram page um, detailing how people can know the warning signs of fake job offers and one of them was that no canadian employer is allowed to charge you um, a fee to employ you or recovery cost as it may be so please read this and take note of it employers cannot charge any fees for the application or recover any costs from the foreign worker so if you're going to apply for a job in yukon and if anybody's asking you for money to pay for the job offer please run away from that person i receive too many emails with people dealing with such people try as much as possible to avoid this kind of situation and then secondly the government of yukon does not match prospective workers with job opportunities so the government of yukon has nothing to do with um, the employer hiring anybody the employer can hire anybody that they want now the third thing i also want you to know is um where do foreign workers search for jobs where would they search for jobs and you just click on this place that is you win job board and it will take you automatically to the page where you can search for jobs and these are the current jobs that are available you can see there's a software technical support analyst job here in whitehorse but the thing you need to know first of all is is whitehorse part of the community that was selected for the um yukon community pilot so if we go back to the government of canada web page you'll find that the participating communities are whitehorse watson lake dawson city haynes junction carmax and carcross so let's go back to the uwin yukon jobs and then you'll see that this is whitehorse so therefore this community is eligible to hire anybody and you also have trinity technologies technology sales they are also looking for a technology sales and still in whitehorse so take your time to go through this page and if you see any job offer that you feel you can do it is best to communicate with the employer and ask them if they are going to employ um, anybody if they are willing to employ people you can see this one they has photographers assistant so you know all sorts of jobs are on this page um so this is where you should concentrate your job search on you need to get an employer not just one you need to get two or three job offers that's the requirement two or three job offers to be eligible for a work permit so job bank is also another of the websites that was um listed as where you can find jobs in the yukon 
So these are all the jobs that are available in Yukon and it's about 123 job currently vacant in the Yukon. And if you have the time, just take your time to go through the page. You can see that some of them are actually in the locations listed at the communities that are eligible for this program. You have the White Horse. If you scroll down a little bit, you will still find um, another community which I saw, which is Watson Lake. Yes, this is Watson Lake and they are looking for server and food and beverage services. So if you know anybody, grocery store, cashier and Watson Lake. You can also click on show more results to show you past jobs that have been posted. You can communicate with the employers to find if they are still looking for people to employ. So what I would suggest is this. I think most of these locations, what they're actually looking for are either people in the hospitality industry, like the food and service um, supervisors, food service counter, retail, mostly retail. If you, if you know that you have experience, work experience um, in the retail sector, then this is an opportunity for you. But if you want more of the cool jobs, you just go to the um, you win you can uh, job board. And this is where you find more good jobs that can align with your occupation. So if you find anything that you see that is OK with your occupation and OK with your academic uh, qualifications, you can go ahead and apply. If I click on the third page, of this same page um, there are so many other job opportunities then once you get the job offer you get a government nomination letter with the government nomination letter you now apply for a work permit so I also want to highlight this portion of this program it says if you have a valid nomination for permanent residence from Yukon you may be eligible for a two-year open work permit. So actually, the work permit is an open work permit and you must have a valid nomination for permanent residence. So if I will repeat what I said before, you need to get two or three job offers first. You also need to get government nomination letter from the Yukon, which makes you eligible for a two-year open work permit. So um, I think this is quite explanatory. I'll be leaving the website, the link of the website on the description box of this video. And please, um, I request that you bear with me. Hopefully next week I'll be back with my face. <laughs> I hope you do understand and wish you a beautiful week ahead. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.